we should mention Don Lemon gone. Listen, I also want to say this. What, what's that guy? Uh, Tim what? Heidegger? Uh, Heidegger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, on Friday, we'll probably have Tim Heidegger on to, uh, he wants to debate me about uh, the, the relative merit of uh, Don Lemon and uh, Chris Cuomo, I guess. So we'll have that guy on. Um, he has been now accusing me of slander. I probably will, I mean, frankly, I accuse him of slander for s accusing me of slander. It's, it's a... It's, it's a vicious cycle. See you in court. Yeah. Uh, I am rubber. He is glue. Let's put it that way. Here is uh, Don Lemon. This is supposedly, you know, the uh, interview that got him fired. I don't think so. Apparently, this was in the works for quite some time, and Don Lemon knew it. Um... I gotta be honest, I don't really care that much about Don Lemon, um, but this was a fun interview to watch him get mad. And clearly the producers, having been in this situation where you have an earpiece in to uh, listen to the producers, the producers are saying, Don, please stop, please stop, Don, 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 let him, uh, we want to talk about China. And Poppy Harlow is sitting next to him like, oh, this is off the rails. It's pretty funny. I, China. I don't see what the one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, it's fine. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's 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 not that war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. OK, and the sad that part wasn't about fought it. For, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, a no funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I pause it for one second. I mean, we you know, we, we don't we haven't seen the, the front part, but the the concept. And I you know that the guy is talking about the Second Amendment being used to provide black people with freedom in the wake of the Civil War is completely ahistorical yes that's what the the um, gettysburg address was about was black people can now buy guns at their local uh gun dealers the, the second amendment was largely a vehicle to make sure that people could go track down black people uh, yeah. uh who had um who had um essentially tried to escape slavery and also uh, when the black when black panthers were open carrying that was the first time you saw a cr well the crack in the gun lobby which has exploded where there was a support for gun control because oh, black that's people why wanted to ronald carry reagan weapons. employed it yes but to be clear what you're talking about in the civil war were a hundred years apart yeah. from each other almost exactly um and so uh, but here is this, uh, this is uh, Vivek uh, uh, Ramasam, uh, Swami. Ramaswamy, he's running for president, so uh, he's one on of those the one to two side. percenters. And um, here is, uh, and, and, and Don Lemon, I guess, takes issue <laughs> with this. I don't know if Don Lemon had all the facts at his fingertips to deal with this, but uh, he... But if this is what got him fired, it doesn't, I don't think it's the case, I, but I like his pushback here. Sure. It's fun. I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree with you country. on that, Don. I disagree with you. I, I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have you are already black the laws skin, here. then you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we disagree. have three I, different shades Don, of melanin. I think melanin we have to be able to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think absolutely have equal rights in this country. I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African-American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, what part thinking, of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history was wrong? That the Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have The Civil War was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that it, even yes, after, right. even after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. To reduce it 
in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think or you're trying to say that black people uh, to get guns. That was that that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That was the reason for uh, for the Civil War. It I is think a that's fact. reductive. It's not and reductive. I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora insult- of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War. With due respect, including- I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans to say that black people today compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part of the Hold on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that that black people... Pause it. Say, so say you, he, I mean, he's obviously he's talking to the producers there and begging him, please move on, please move on. What are you talking about? Let's please move on. You know, why are you arguing about this? And the um, uh, what uh, Vivek here is doing is trying to hide from the fact that he was really promoting the Second Amendment as if that was what secured the rights of black people. And let's be clear. Uh, we, we've talked about Reconstruction enough here uh, to show that, like, there was, yes, there was a moment where we had um, the ability of black people uh, to gain in political power and in, in, in wealth uh, in the wake of the Civil War. And then there were literally, like, coups and pogroms and lynchings and uh, mm-hmm. a rise of the KKK. And you know what? was used with those lynchings <laughs> what was used to intimidate uh, black people what was used to kill people black people in uh, wilmington and oklahoma and in texas and in north carolina and in georgia uh when we talk about all of these sort of like attacks on uh, uh black political and uh you know sort of middle class uh, neighborhoods or um guns yeah. yeah. The Second Amendment uh, g- guns. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very revealing that a, like a 37 year old conservative like Vivek is here would want to rewrite the Civil War as being about like we need to extend gun rights when really what it was is a couple things. One, a massive labor action on the part of slaves saying actually this is uh, the the going is good right now. Let's get out of here. And also massive state action on the part of the North, which wasn't just to like you know extend freedoms to black people. That's a great uh, you know that's a, what some of the noble reasons people did fight. Uh, among the soldiery but like as far as the actual reason it was because of different economic systems one being like a slave system and another being a wage capitalist system and people wanted to get rid of the slave uh, system and we did and to be fair to Vivek the South was definitely fighting to not free the slaves yes that doesn't mean that the North's you know singular reason was to free the slaves yeah, and um, freeing the slaves became a, a sort of tactical thing on the part of Lincoln, saying actually, slaves are pretty important to their entire war effort. So if we start um, saying, "Hey, we're going to give you freedom, and you can start working for us first as like the laundry and those sorts of lower um, teamster t- style positions in um, war, but later actual armed fighting," like that's why um, they eventually sort of um, went full uh, force because there's a lot of uh, uh, Union generals at the beginning that didn't want to actually move against slavery, like. Like that uh I'll continue here this is uh it, it just is jarring i just uh, to 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 see vivek ramaswamy have such like an arrogant posture and exp- like basically explaining to this black man that he's wrong about systemic racism in this country in the civil war that's all he can have though and I, like is that the like, arrogance you no know, it's uh, right well i mean oh. and and it just is uh, but if i'm but if i'm his uh, uh campaign consultant i'm basically saying it is worth half a point in the polls to you to get into a fight oh, with Don sure. Lemon. <laughs> At least a half a point in the uh, Republican Party polls uh, to get into a fight with Don Lemon. So let's do this. You said again? Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Black Amendment rights have, were secured. They were not secured their freedoms after the what? Civil War. That is not you. You are discounting the, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War. When I don't even know what that means, including even, the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because Black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, <laughs> and that things turned around. People would try to change the freedoms that were supposed and to. And you know how they the got it? They got their Second Amendment. Amendment rights, and they actually got the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the, the line, NRA did the, not play a big role. 
totally big trade back when Americans had to use firearms. That's a lie. That's that, not. The NRA did not play a big role. This in is that. just historical fact. It's but not that, historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find because you say it's historical the fact. Part that I find Poppy Harlow is when like you a, say uh, today uh, black uh, Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through the civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's where you and I have a different point of view. Black and white that black people don't have in this country, and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. And you're That's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm what it's like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I am, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. On the content of the ideas. If you're going to do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? With, with, we appreciate you coming on. With due respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank you. The conversation. Thank, thank you. you so much. I thank would you, love Bob. if we'll talk about China. Yes, just talk about China. Time you come back. Oh, thank you. Much to okay. say on declaring independence from China. Okay. Something you, you can add. <laughs> thank, thank you. Declaring right. independence from that's, China. That's so important. Um, Lemon wow. was right on the on the facts there. Um, like the insulting stuff is is extra like and worthwhile to point yeah. out. But like, um, I think Vivek appreciates him going to that, saying like, "Oh, I'm insulting Without black man." Without a right. doubt, you shouldn't have gone there because that's all that Vivek needs to say. See, he can't, these snowflakes can't even discuss this thing uh, when actually he was completely talking uh, nonsense. Well, I think the problem is, to be honest with you, is that I'm not quite convinced that Don Lemon had the facts. He had the idea, the, you know, the, the, he, his position was correct, but I'm not sure that he had the facts. The, uh, you know, the idea that somehow, well, first of all, what rights were secured ultimately by the time you get to, I don't know, 1890? I mean, you've gotten, you literally had the entire black political um, uh, class in South Carolina wiped out by uh, violence. You, you had communities like uh, in, in, Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, destroyed by violence. But everybody, this, I don't care what rifle they had, they were using planes. It's just cra it is complete conspiracy theory nonsense, and I'm sure something that the NRA has spread more broadly that they were in some way instrumental in trying to arm black uh, people in slave rebellions or in the post Civil War South. That that that's completely ahistorical and made up. And he first he said that it helped liberate black people, and then he went back to say that it was instrumental in them securing their rights post Civil War. All of which is completely made up out of whole cloth. Plus the example that I gave, and once the NRA actually became a more robust you know, political lobbying mechanism, they were actively fighting against Black Panthers and other Black people yeah. having gun rights. It's a deus ex machina. Like, or, 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 like, where does that come from, right? So, oh, they got their Second Amendment rights. Well, how do they secure that without the Second Amendment rights if that's the avenue exactly. to our rights? Exactly. Right.